Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studios. And with me today is John McTavish. How are you doing, John? Good, man. This might be the uh, longest streak of couples review we have ever done on the site. It's, uh, yeah. It's, it, 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 I think I feel like it brings us together, you know? Absolutely. It closer. Yeah. yeah, a little bonding. A little bonding. All right. So today we are talking about the CAO Bones Chicken Foot. Uh, cigar is a Robusto Extra 5x54. Uh, comes out of the STG Esteli factory in Nicaragua. Wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Binder is Connecticut Shade. Filler is Honduran Hamastron and La Entrada. Nicaraguan Esteli and Dominican Piloto Cubano. It is blended by Rick Rodriguez. Price point is $7.49. And the scar is released in August of 2020. So with all that info that you may, not, may or may not believe, uh, what was your experience like, John? Well, first of all, I just want to say uh, 750 for a broadleaf offering. That's that's a steal. That's not really something you typically see. So that's with a little you know, Connecticut shade underneath. Look, little, little just kind of slid right in there. Yeah. Um, but you know that probably lends itself to the fact that they're a huge corporation and can buy huge crops of broadleaf, so they probably get good prices. Um, <clears throat> it's a good looking cigar. Um, pretty dark obviously with that broadleaf on there uh and i i it started out well um you know i kind of got mild wood baking spices um which were intensified through the retro hail a little bit of a tannic wood finish a little bit of post draw pepper and again uh subtle not super spicy just kind of subtle um kind of got some leather which again for me that's kind of par for the course for broadleaf um so uh, then developing into light plus chocolate, um, and then some syrupy sweetness in the bottom half, mixing it with the baking spices. So, first third, I was like, okay, this is um, this is good. I like this. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that all kind of fell apart in the, in the second third. Uh, strength fell way back from I would, I would qualify as kind of a medium level. Uh, everything kind of fell back to a light plus, and and that harmony fell apart. Um, so there's sweetness, light leather, dry cedar, but they're all operating independently. Um, <clears throat> chocolate earth and espresso on the retrohale, but again, not really harmonizing. And then unfortunately, uh, by the halfway point, uh, really all I could taste was wood. It was just kind of wood, woody wood, woody, woody, wooderson, and a little light plus earth on the, on the poster. And it wasn't offensive. It wasn't bad. It just, all that complexity was just sucked right out of the cigar and i was like oh man all the goodness is gone and you know now it's now it's wood um last third was more kind of sweet earth and wood sweet earth wood sweet earth wood sweet earth wood i'm like all right it's not bad it's just i'm bored um of course as is the case uh with their with their factory um construction is perfect there's perfect draw perfect burn um and quite honestly we've talked about cigars that are quite a number of dollars more expensive than this uh, that do not have this level of construction. So, you know, it's kind of funny that a $7.50, which, you know, at this point, you almost you almost kind of categorize as a budget category, which it never used to be. Um, but they're developed, they're, they're rolling a cigar that's, you know, giving you great construction. Unfortunately, overall for me, the flavor profile, pretty average, pretty average. Aaron, what about you? Yeah, for me, uh, the cigar had an average start as well. Um, I, with some of the cigars from general, I get this like homogenized flavor profile right it's I, I don't know how else to describe it it's like it, it's like it's lacking depth yes um it's, it's almost, as if there's a it's leaf almost of... too clean right there's like I, I don't know if like all the intricacies have been like aged out of it or it's, there's something that's off about it it's it's one percent milk instead of whole milk there you go that's what it is um, but yeah, it remained average uh, until the final third uh, when some char ramped up and a little bit of bitterness joined in. Um, you know, I don't think it's a very good Connecticut Broadleaf offering, uh, but at this price point, you have to try it. Like, you know, if you, if you're, if you like Connecticut Broadleaf, you can't pass up one at 750 just to 750. see what it's like, right? So you got to smoke it. Um, I don't really see coming back to it. Uh, maybe like a year down the road, which is next month. Uh, I might try it, you know, just cause like CAO sessions, uh, I didn't kind of like it that right early on. And then, you know, maybe eight months later, it was like, oh, this is actually getting good. So who knows? We'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see, yeah. but yeah, as, as it stands, not, not that big of a fan. All right. Getting into the scores. going to start out top with John at 6.10 and I give it a 5.25. So John had that 6.10 matchup for you. 
Oh, well, as we always say, uh, the tail of the tape here is construction, because in terms yeah. of flavor profile, you're talking about a, you know, 5.65, five, 5.7 five, max. Um, but, you know, we do value the uh, construction, and that's what brings it into the 6. Um, as Aaron was saying, uh, at 750, you got to try it, you got to smoke it. Um, you know, put in your comments what you think, because, you know, tell us, we're, tell us we're crazy, tell us we're right. How does your score match up? Uh, it matches up well. Uh, overall, the flavor profile was below average, because the final third just the char and bitterness kind of, you know, put it down a little bit, but construction was really good. Uh, I thought the burn was perfect. Draw was, I think, I, was it snug or loose? Uh, no, slightly tighter, but, um, you know, it was just nitpicking for, <laughs> it wasn't perfect. So, uh, but yeah, that's what gets in the low fives. It's just, the, I don't think the blend is all that great. So that's where it's at. Um, I will say though, I like the bands. Uh, it's yeah. got the nice kind of subtle domino look. You have to pay attention to it because it's got the black dots on the black domino. So, you, you know, if you're not looking for it, you might miss it. But I dig the bands. Um, just wish the cigar was a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So, all right. If you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. Also, check out the full written review on the website, developingpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels. And you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts. So iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Chicken foot.